June 24, 2025, the Strait of Hormuz plunged into chaos. On the bridge of the Odyssey the captain watched in horror as his ship's position leapt from open water to dry land on the navigation screen. Alarms blared, GPS, the backbone of global navigation, had gone dark. Dozens of massive vessels, suddenly blind, drifted dangerously close to each other. This wasn't a glitch. It was a deliberate attack. Electronic warfare made real. Navigation signals twisted into lies, digital maps became traps, and ships veered off course. Disaster struck. A tanker, spoofed into believing it was elsewhere, collided with another, spilling oil into the gulf. The world's technological safety net had been cut, and the consequences were immediate. This chaos was the climax of weeks of escalating conflict between Iran and Israel, where jamming and spoofing became weapons of war. For Iran, the lesson was clear. Relying on a US-controlled navigation system was a fatal vulnerability. The GPS blackout wasn't just a technical failure, it was an existential threat. Iran faced a stark choice, continue on a path of dependence or chart a new course. The nation decided it could no longer let its future be mapped by its adversaries. In the wake of the blackout, Iran's trust in GPS evaporated, the government accused the US and Israel of using digital warfare for sabotage and assassination, continuing with GPS meant inviting the enemy into every operation. The solution turned east to China's Beidou navigation system. In July 2025, Iran announced a total shift away from GPS a move celebrated by China as a blow to U.S. tech dominance. During the conflict, Iran had even jammed its own GPS signals, crippling its economy and military. Beidou offered encrypted military-grade signals, security and control Iran desperately needed. This wasn't just about navigation, it was about survival and ambition. With Beidou, Iran's missiles and drones would be more accurate, and its systems more resilient to jamming. Unplugging from GPS and plugging into Beidou fundamentally changed Iran's military and strategic future. Losing navigation is like losing the ground beneath your feet. Modern life, shipping, aviation, finance, relies on satellite timing and location. When GPS was compromised in the Gulf, catastrophe followed. Jamming creates blind spots, spoofing tricks ships into dangerous waters. Nearly a thousand ships reported GPS interference daily off Iran's coast. Shipping companies scrambled to install costly anti-jamming tech, turning sea lanes into electronic battlegrounds. The threat extends beyond the seas. Aviation, trucking, even financial markets depend on GPS. The Middle East blackout was a global wake-up call. Our digital infrastructure is fragile, and its weaponization threatens worldwide stability. The world realized the invisible utility powering the 21st century could be turned against us. Iran's pivot to Beidou is the most visible sign of a deepening alliance with China. Their 25-year partnership covers technology, military hardware, and economic integration. After the June conflict, China helped rebuild Iran's military, supplying advanced missile systems and AI-powered drone tech. Chinese firms exported surveillance equipment, enabling Iran to build a digital security state modeled on China's own. Oil flows to China, technology, and security flow to Iran. In December 2024, Iran announced a massive AI integration initiative, possible only with Chinese support. Together they're building a technological ecosystem outside Western oversight. This alliance is reshaping the balance of power in the region. Iran's switch to Beidou is a direct challenge to US dominance. For decades, America's control of GPS was a strategic advantage. Now, Iran is decoupling from U.S. tech and aligning with China. With Beidou, Iran gains secure navigation, blunting U.S. and Israeli electronic warfare. This shift could embolden Iran, making its missiles and drones more precise and its military posture more aggressive. Chinese analysts hail Iran's move as a blueprint for other nations seeking digital sovereignty. Countries across the global south are watching considering their own pivots away from U.S. infrastructure. The U.S. is fighting back, sanctioning networks supplying Iran with dual-use tech. It's a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, each side racing to build a parallel tech ecosystem. The battle for control of global technology has begun. At the heart of the China-Iran partnership is energy. China buys most of Iran's oil, funding Tehran's tech ambitions. To evade U.S. sanctions, they use shadow fleets and clandestine tactics, binding their interests. Oil money buys Chinese surveillance tech, letting Iran build a digital state modeled on China's. The result, 
a symbiotic relationship, energy for technology, stability for influence. Iran's switch to Beidou could fracture the digital world, splitting it into rival blocks. One block led by the US clings to open standards, the other led by China, champions state control. Nations may soon have to choose sides with profound consequences for global security and cooperation. Iran's crisis in the Strait of Hormuz may be remembered as the spark that ignited a new era of digital fragmentation.